Open Site Designer includes site layout tools such as parking lot, buildings, driveways, sidewalks, and others to help engineers, architects, designers, and planners to quickly lay out conceptual site plans to get an understanding what works on the project and what does not. The tools are parametric and instantly react to changes that the designer makes. Create a parking lot within just minutes, then edit the parking lot with things such as parking direction line. Use parking points to start detailing the parking lot. Bay points, island point, aisle point, and space point allow the user to come in and start detailing specific areas to meet a need. For example, if we just want to add some bay points to the parking for landscaping, just simply locate them in a bay and then tell the width that you need for that bay point. When adding buildings, the user has a couple options. You can go in and just start free drawing and come up with an idea to help the client understand what size building might fit. Or if you know the building configuration, that can be imported from another software, such as AQSM, bring that in, outline the base plate, and then use that as your starting point. The building will interact with parking lots as we see here on the screen. I have full control of this model, so I could come in and add a sidewalk if need be. And if you notice, the parking adjusted. Let's add a driveway. You merely need to put the center line of the driveway in, and the driveway will be created. Now, all objects and areas inside of OpenSight have the ability to be changed and modified. Something as simple as maybe I want to change a radius, or do I want to change to thickness of the roadway, do I now want to reconfigure the parking? This allows the user to quickly come in, look at potential issues, and make revisions to satisfy the need of the client. Something that should take hours or days to do can now be done in a fraction of the amount of time. Now we can add a connection driveway between the parking lot and the main drive. And if we look at the project this quick, we were able to come in and create a design. So again, what if we had a building such as an AcoSim model that the client wants to use? We just bring that in, put that in the area that we're thinking about for the building, and then just use the tools as we did before to quickly create a design to show to stakeholders, owners, clients, and get project buy-in.